We are cooking with one. Hey, what's up, YouTube? How are we doing tonight? Welcome back. And hey, sexy lady. Come on in here. Hi, baby. I'm about to make the dry rub that I oh, used. Um, pour me a glass of wine, too? Of course. Thanks, lover. Okay, time for a wine, wine break. break and a dad joke. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? Why? Because it was too tired. Oh my god. This is what I live with. Alright. <laughs> so, this is a dry rub that I use for the barbacoa that we made our tacos and our armadillo balls with. Okay. Barbacoa, right? The pulled beef that you put yeah, in Yeah, the pulled beef, yeah. So, what I have here is one bag or two pounds of light brown sugar. I have one cup of kosher salt, one cup of dried minced onions, one cup of paprika, Sheesh. one cup of oregano, half of a cup of ground cumin, 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 cumin. It's like pecan, pecan. I say pecan. What do other people say? I think, I think most people say pecan. It depends on my mood. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I have <laughs> half a cup of crushed red pepper and half a cup of granulated garlic. And I'm just gonna it's take. Not, it smells so good just standing next to all of this, babe. I like to put it in a bag because it's easy to break up. Because when it sits for a while, sometimes it gets a little hard. Are you sure you're gonna fit all of that in one bag? That doesn't even seem right. Well, I guess we're gonna find out, huh? I guess so. Good luck with that. Where we're going, we don't need love. <laughs> I think we need all the love you can get, lover. Oh, no, I think it will all fit. Look at that. So I'm just going to throw everything in here. And then we're gonna mix it up in the bag. And then we can just... It smells so good, it's like a spice shop. Break it up a little bit as we need it. So right now I'm gonna leave air in the bag and it'll make the mixing process easier. And we'll mix it up real good. So this is really like, um, it's like sweet, salty, Spicy, all at the same time. I love this dry rub. What else do you use our, that dry rub on? So I'm gonna use this. We're gonna do some carnito, carnitas burritos. Oh, and pulled pork? Pulled pork, yes. So I'm gonna use this for those. Um, I use this when we grill our ribs. Oh my gosh. We make the best ribs with that dry rub. Uh, sometimes I didn't really even know what went in it. I just pulled this dry rub out. I'm like, I know it's going to be bomb. We just put it on. I think we even sprinkle it on burgers from time to time. Sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So now I'm going to take the air out. This is just so great to have. Sprinkle it on a steak. And now we're going to break it up just a little bit more. Get some of the clumps out. And wow. now we got dry rub for days. Um, we can do the math. A lot of dry rub. Almost three pounds here. <laughs> and yeah, this will last us a few months. Okay. There you go. Oh, well, that was easy. It is easy. It's so good too. Literally any kind of meat you eat, it's Time so good. Time for another wine break. I feel like I thought of one. No, we're, we're fine if you don't. Wine brain's good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love your dad jokes. Well, that was lit, babe. Thanks for making me dry rub. You know, so, I hope you enjoy this dry rub. I'm actually gonna put some of that in my meatballs later. Yeah. So, 
Until next time, like, share, subscribe, and keep on cooking with wine.